We're celebrating International Women's Day and Women's History Month with wine. So glad to have Jill Mott, one of the great wine minds in the Twin Cities with us, and Helen Ann Olson, General Manager at Barbette. Thank you guys mm -hmm. both for being here today. Thank you. So I love this idea of turning the whole wine by the glass list over to women winemakers. And Helen, uh, you guys are you're doing this at all of the uh, Kim Bartman restaurants. Yep, all of the Bartman groups. So it's Barbette, Bright Lake Bowl, mm -hmm. Pat's Tap, Red Stag, Book Club. We're all featuring women wines for the whole entire month. So all of our glass pours are these wonderful wines. So where, I mean, when you're looking at kind of women winemakers, is it hard to find that list? Are there not a lot in, in the industry? There's actually a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Jill, you kind of curated this list, right? Mm -hmm. Help them out. I've, I've curated the list for trapeze, and there are yeah. several women winemakers on the, the upcoming trapeze bubbles bar menu. Um, Rebecca, actually, who couldn't be here mm. today due to a sick child, um, she put together, the, she was the mastermind of the glass pour List sure. It's a genius idea yeah. because there are women, especially here in the United States, there are women winemakers. But the truth is, like a lot of these places are still run by men. So if you can go and boost up the women who are creating, not just creating wine, but creating great wines, right? It's yeah. it's incredible to the 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 length at which the internet yeah. helps us be able to to mm. find them and search mm. them out for sure. Wonderful. What wines did you bring, Jill? So we brought three wines today: um, red, white, and rosé that are all crafted by and or owned by women. Um, I guess, are, are, are we pouring? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. I, I, I sent yep. some excitement. I was trying to be so oh, yeah. I just asked for Salvation it, right? is coming. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this, the first wine we'll pour is a rosé from Coster de Nîmes. Um, oh, okay. It's if, from, let me know if you Go you'd for like it. Oh, it's as is good a time as any. It's from uh, a woman named Fanny makes this wine. Ooh, it's um, good. Southern Rhone. It's, uh, I swirl it like I know what I'm doing. It's very good. Thank you. Grenache Syrah and a little bit of Sanso. Yeah. And the epitome of springtime. You know, I, you were mentioning stable weather. And yeah. all we want is yeah. stability of warmth to drink rose. That's wonderful. wonderful. Oh, oh, so we, really clean. Oh, are we, we're going to finish our wine. Here we go. That's right. You Get can, to work, like, this, this could be a... That's right. We don't have a <laughs> spit bucket is not the most no. elegant way to I go on the news. I was looking for one. There's, There's a sink. <laughs> There's a sink That's right. You. That's uh, right. Tell us about the white wine. So the white wine mm -hmm. is... Um, an amazing Verdejo from Spain, an mm. up-and-coming grape that uh, we're learning more about that is usually has quite a bit of yeast added so that it tastes like a, a New Zealand Sauvignon yeah. Blanc. This, however, has no sulfur added to it and also has um, no yeast added oh. to it, so it's... Oh, hang as on. <laughs> Get to work, Kylie. That's right. It's one of the more okay. natural whites coming from Spain, and a woman named Esmeralda. This is her young Ooh, vine wow. wine. It's 120 years old. Wow, that's so And cool. on its own rootstock, and... Uh, Barbette is one of the only places uh, oh, bringing that very in. Very good. I love that. Quickly tell us about this red that you brought. This red is from, uh, many would consider her the godfather, or the godmother, excuse uh -huh. me, of a, of a more uh, <laughs> natural way of making wine in, in Italy. And she's got an, a northern Italian project. This is her Tuscan project, uh, where she is growing a grape that many say wouldn't belong in Tuscany, Cab Franc. Really okay. cool. And it's does she's an amazing job with it in concrete. It's so Perfect. fun to learn about the stories behind these. Well, wines. go see Helen Ann over at Barbat, and you can mm -hmm. go to any of the Kim Bartman restaurants. You can just Google it and see where they are, and have those by the glass. All women winemakers. Really Perfect. cool. Thanks, Thank guys. You.